what's this weather doing to me? Hello, here we are again on another mission. I keep saying mission, I'm gonna stick with it, so there we go. Today I'm doing some reconnaissance. I'm going to be doing some scouting, a little bit of planning for future shoots. The weather today is not particularly great. It's gray, it's overcast, not good conditions for photography. But that doesn't matter because all I want to do from today is just to find some nice compositions for use in future when the sun's in the right place, the weather's better, and there's some nice light on that landscape. Today I'm going to a place called Hike Up Nick in the Pennines. It's a place where it's a canyon cut out of the landscape by a glacier in the past so it should provide, provide some really nice scenery. It's a fairly long drive ahead of me, so let's go. Right, I've arrived, I have started my walk, and I'm glad, I'm glad that I am just scouting today because the day already hasn't started off as well as it could have done. I was just getting this shot here, just to tell the story that a little bit of spring is starting to come through. I stumbled and dropped the camera into the mud. So, not a massive deal, it's probably reduced the value of my camera a little bit when I come to sell it, but never mind, that's happened, I've recovered. I'm on my way, it's all good. Weather-wise, things aren't too bad. You can see it's quite a white hour at the moment with the cloud, but it's quite still, which is nice. Like I said, there's no pressure today. I'm just scouting, so a bit of a walk ahead of me. So let's keep going. One of the other things I'm doing today is trying out this new super wide angle lens. I can't talk about it yet. There will be a review coming out as soon as this lens comes out, but I've just stopped at this tree and you may be, may be able to hear the echo that this tree is causing. It's a really pretty tree. I'll just spin around to show you that. Quite a big oak tree, I think it is. And it's just sort of sitting over the landscape here. There isn't really a composition for a normal lens, but I've gone in close, got this, the crazy perspective that this lens gives and captured this shot. It may not be to your taste, but it's interesting what this really wide angle lens can do. So I'm looking forward to using that a little bit more today and then showing you the review uh, when, that, when I'm allowed to release that. Sun is threatening. I'm pretty certain I'm not going to see it today though. I hope you could hear that. I'm pretty close to a military testing ground. I'd love to see some of that. Not in the way of the bullets though, obviously. <laughs> So I've stopped because I've found a composition. This is an example of the sort of thing I've ta I'm talking about. The wind's getting up a little bit as well. I hope that's not causing you too many problems. But we've got, I've got the camera set up here in the composition and it's kind of looking at this hill behind my head here. The track this side is leading you in and then the bank that I'm currently stood on is leading you into the image the other side with that sort of gate in the foreground. It isn't gonna make for the best image today. It's not gonna be a great image at all, but I've gone for a long exposure to try and make the best of it and pull some nice detail out of that sky as well. But in the summer, I think it will be a really great shot because I know already from my planning app that the sun will set somewhere behind 
that hill there so the sky could be full of colour and the bank I'm stood on which is leading you in has a little bit of heather in it so if that was flowering it could really really be an interesting shot with some of the evening light shining on that. It's not the sort of shot I would have known about unless I'd come out today on this little scouting mission. Right, I'm finished there. I need to keep going. The wind's getting up a bit now. I need to keep on going. I think I'm about to get my first view of High Cup Nick as well, which I'm excited about. The weather is forecast to get worse today, so I don't want to waste too much more time. Right, I'm just taking shelter in this boulder field, as you can see here, and I've got the camera set up on the tripod with that wide 11 millimeter wide angle lens on. It's very, very close to the boulder field, as you can see, but I'm still managing to get the whole thing in the scene with that mountain in the back, or the hill, the mountain, whatever it is, in the background there as well. It's gonna be a decent shot today, I think, if I turn it into a moody black and white type shot, but, I'm scouting today, so in the summer, I know that the sun will rise just behind the mountain in the background, getting some color in that sky and some of that golden golden hour light hitting these rocks. I know it could be a really, really special image. So I'm gonna have to come back here again at some point in the summer. I'll probably camp over as well. I'm gonna start doing a lot more wild camping. Right, I've just had some lunch. Now, the next stop is the top of High Cup Nick. So I've made it to the top of High Cup Nick in the Pennines and I've got those 360 degree views all... Oh no, I haven't... The weather has seriously, seriously turned on me. It went like it was literally seconds and this came over. So I'm not actually too fussed because I've got a couple of nice shots on the way up I think that only would have worked in the mist and I knew about this shot anyway where I am now. There's a shot right down that valley, uh, right down the nick, and that was the shot I came for with that wide angle lens. But I know that's there, so I can come back another day when the weather is better. But for now, I have a fairly decent trek back down. And then, oh, what is this weather doing to me? I'm gonna get down back into the valley and hopefully there'll be a shot to pick up down at the bottom once I get back underneath this cloud. It's going to be very moody with that lid of cloud, but you never know, it could turn into something half decent. <laughs> right, so I'm back down, I'm into the valley. The descent was insane. I've run into a couple of people which reassured me a bit that I was not coming down alone. I was happy about that. I've got another time lapse going at the moment over there. The weather, yet again, I've fallen foul of, but it's been absolutely brilliant today. I think I've probably got a couple of all right shots and I've scouted out some really nice locations for another day when the weather is a little bit better. So just a couple of little things. I am now dedicating more time to First Man Photography as the channel starts to grow. So I'm going to be aiming to do a vlog every week. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do so for new videos every Sunday and every Wednesday. And hopefully the weather at some point will do good for me. So I'm not, I'm not complaining though, I've absolutely loved today, but 
in a very rainy, wet and windy Pennines. I'm Adam, this is First Man Photography, out. Another day of landscape photography, another bog, very good.